Hey guys, welcome to uh, today's video. So what I wanted to do in this video is uh, a little experiment just for fun. Uh, a long time ago, I created this uh, goofy, wacky uh, character just as an animation test. If I press uh, play, you can see what he's doing. He's just simply uh, performing like a simple uh, stretchy uh, animation, right? So uh, here's the challenge. The challenge is in this video, how do we take this character and let's say we want to do uh, you know, three of them. What if I want to take this rigged character? And it doesn't really matter what rig uh, you have, right? So maybe it's a, uh, something you downloaded or something you created, but you have, let's say you have this sophisticated structure with lights and all that stuff. Um, how do you take a character and you just simply want to clone him? So maybe, you know, there's two of them or three of them next to each other, right? How do you do that? So if I would just simply select, um, let me actually save my work. But if I uh, select, you know, the character right here, right? And uh, let's do, I'll do, um, let's do something like Control uh, G. So we'll group it, now it's in one group. And I'll do uh, Control D to make a second group, right? And now I can just attempt to move it over and press play. Well, that didn't work, right? It, the animations didn't copy over. And normally when you, you know, attempt to just simply copy paste a, uh, you know, fully animated rig in Maya, it's most likely not gonna go well. What is the proper way of doing this, right? So uh, let's take a look at this. So let me reset this uh, scene real quick and start over, right? So the proper way of doing it is to use something called referencing or references in uh, Maya. So how, do, how does that work? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I'm going to create a reference file for my character that I can bring into this scene. So this scene is called um, LTO2. So to create a reference, what I need to do is I need to just kind of delete everything else in my scene uh, that I don't want and just simply leave the character by himself, right? So I have the mesh and then I have the joints. And of course I just deleted the lights um, and so my lights are gone and you don't see anything, right? It's just this blue background is, is, um, is the uh, color setting. It's not even an image or anything like that. It's just you can see it's a gradient, right? Um, and by the way, if you're new to Maya and you're not sure um, what that means, how do you control the background here? Um, all you have to do is just simply press Alt and then press B on your keyboard and that will toggle between different um, settings of your uh, background and then again that's controlled and settings color settings right so if i wanted to for example set my uh, background to let's say black right how do i activate this now well i can do alt b and voila now it's black or maybe i wanted white so i can control that right but in this case what i wanted to do is i wanted to um, use these um, gradient options so for that i'm just going to do alt b and uh, find it that way right so that's what that is just in case you're wondering all right cool so now we have this uh reference image of the guy without anything else in the scene right you can see in my outliner the scene is literally empty except just the mesh and then i have the joints and you can't see the joints because i have them uh, hidden but you can see what they look like right here okay so that's the rig all right very cool so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file uh, I'm going to say save as and I'm going to create a and down here you can see uh, there's something called create a reference. So I'm going to use that in a second. But for now, I'm going to say uh, save uh, scene as and in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, reference. I'll just call it ref and say save. All right, now I'm going to open up my uh, initial file, which is uh, was called O2 and you can see I have nice lights shadows activated, uh, all that cool stuff, right? Now, to bring this other character in, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm just gonna literally move him over, just so I know that the new one is gonna be, you know, appeared in the center, right? And uh, check this out, I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Create a Reference, and I am gonna simply select this reference file and say Reference. All right, second one pops in, uh, let's go ahead and uh, actually move this guy over just a little more so they're not touching. And now if I press uh, play, right, you could see they're both being animated 
And the reason it's working is because this one is coming in from a whole different origin or a different source than this one. So they're not clashing with each other. Uh, and then if I wanted to, you know, maybe I wanted to bring a third one in, right? Let me bring this one over. I'll do file, create a uh, reference, and let's bring another reference of the same file. And now I have a third one, right? And uh, now if I press play, you should see all three of them uh, beautifully working uh, together, right? And the powerful thing about referencing uh, also is let's say you have a uh, sequence with this character being part of, you know, let's say a hundred different scenes, right? He is uh, being referenced in and then you get a, um, you know, a need to, to change something. Maybe you want to change his texture or change his uh, design, right? Well, all you need to do is you just go to the original file of him uh, in Maya, you change that, and then every single reference will automatically update the character in all the scenes. So that is the power of you using references, and uh, whenever you have the need to, uh, you know, have more than one character in the same scene, uh, that is a really clever way to, uh, to do that, right? So I just want to show you that uh, in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.